Off to the Races is the latest album from Jukebox of Ghosts. We are joined by Ben from the band. Welcome back to San Francisco. Hey, thanks. It hasn't been very long since you were in San Francisco. You did no, the Halloween right. West Coast extravaganza yeah. for the very first time here. Yeah, we did. We, uh, we took the show, and for those who, who don't know, we do a uh, Halloween, it's called, and we do a set as us, like we're doing tonight, but then for this, uh, we then go backstage after our set. I shave my beard into a mustache, slick the hair back, turn into Freddie Mercury, and we do a full set as Queen. Wow. Yeah. I've only seen videos, I've heard about it, and it it sounds and looks amazing. It's so much fun. Yeah. It really is. How's it going, San Francisco? Man, it feels like uh, it feels like we were just here. What have you been on the Halloween show? So there's a lot that uh, circles back to the album. We have Halloween. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. from my understanding, that really enlightened you guys to just go full force, open up, and, and absorb the... Embrace the queen. Yeah. Yeah, it was... It was um, it's funny because I think due to the nature of my piano playing and the range of my voice, we've always gotten comparisons to Queen. It's just sort of been one of the reference points that people throw out there. And But this, this record was the first time where we're, we're in the studio and we're making conscious decisions to really embrace it. Be like, all right, we can put a crazy guitar solo here or we can do 14-part harmony. And we're like, it's okay, Queen did it. They were super weird and people still liked them. And, and so we're trying to embrace that weirdness, that Queeny, poppy weirdness. Uh, but... Uh, still try to make it our own fans will probably say well gee it's about time they yeah, kind of so. uh, yeah. are, are gravitating or gravitated to you guys because of that yeah i think no right? one no one has voiced any complaints yet like, yeah um yeah. I, I think queen because of the nature of that band they're not an easy band to emulate or even to, to borrow from and so i think I, hopefully we've done it tactfully and in, in little bits that still maintains who we are but i don't think anyone really minds right everybody's lonely is making quite an impact right now sure seems like it and yeah a lot of people are just like wow uh, who is this band and, and so forth and you talked about your grandma and from what I understand that she was kind of the catalyst for yeah writing it, this it was a conversation with my grandmother um, about she, it was her talking about during wartime and she talked to her mother and, and just asked why are all the songs so sad and her mother said uh, because everyone is so lonesome dear um, which now everyone is so lonesome wasn't a great uh, lyric for a pop song but I thought everybody's lonely is a nice spin on that and so I just wrote a song about how all songs are about, you know, love and heartbreak, um, it, all the way down. It's and yeah. it's been that's been the case for seventy years. Yeah, and and now we have a little background in terms of her growing up in a castle. Yeah, and it kind of thinks. Kind of just makes me think right now, like, gosh, what was her childhood like? I think Donald huge castle, yeah, yeah. and young little girl. And, yeah, yeah. And did she have a lot of brothers and sisters? Yeah, yeah, the four, yeah, and, four, four brothers and sisters, and. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, busy, you know, Yeah, it's just a different time. It was all a very different time. Yeah, yeah. And another track that really stands out, Boring. Yeah. And I think a lot of millennials who live in big cities, we're here in San Francisco, that's yeah. why I'm saying this, yep, yep, is yep. like scratching their heads and looking at themselves. Yeah. Like, gosh, is that my future? Right, no, so, yeah. Everybody I mean that, having kids and moving to the suburbs. It's, it's, the thing, it's the thing that happens, and, you know, we're, we've been a band for... Uh, well, almost uh, over a decade at this point and this is record number five and so you know our friends are you know moving to the suburbs and having kids and doing the thing and um, I think one of the, the funny things about being in a band and I've been in a band for the last 10 years is people who have like normal jobs and live in normal houses and the, like that's glamorous you know that's like wow you've created <laughs> stability and you have a, have family a 401k and you have a house and yeah and um, you know the, the grass is always greener or more exciting and there's something you know that we've spent a lot of time reflecting on you know, that seems as almost as rock and roll as our strange little lifestyle. Now, I understand you also did a lot of your own producing in the studio and, and kind of the things that you would kind of hand off to engineers. And yeah, we, to it, do, was, right? it was a mix. We did, uh, you know, a lot of work on our own first and then involved some friends of ours in, uh, in Brooklyn and worked with them on the tracks and then did a couple uh, tracks in L.A. And really it was sort of all over the place. But we were making creative decisions on our own that I think often would have been used or contributed to uh, by a label or someone else making decisions like that. Now, do you think you're going to continue down this road? And, and uh, like, how, we'll how, did you, uh, yeah. how, how did you feel uh, after? It feels great. It feels great now because we did it on our own. We've released it uh, independently um, and things are happening and things are happening uh, to an extent that they somehow never happened 
when we were on a label. So at the moment, we're sort of pinching ourselves thinking, wow, this is working. Let's keep our fingers crossed and, yeah. and hope it continues to build. Your secret weapon is definitely Tommy. It is. He is. Because, you know, his, his artwork is amazing. He's spectacularly you know. talented. And it, it's funny. The, so he, you know, as I'm, I'm sure you know, but he does these cartoons on the road and takes requests on Twitter and, and Facebook and then just draws. He's just an incredible uh, artist. And so he's always drawing requests for fans and then also doing stuff for the band. So there's this really like cross-pollination of visual arts and music and... Right. Yeah. So that's again, a secret weapon because is, every band can say, oh, hey, check me out on Instagram story and this and that. Yeah. But you have, you know, an animator in, right. in your it's, band. It's really nice. As someone who can't draw for anything, it's, it's Did anybody really nice. complain, any of the three, uh, the, the, uh, you or uh, Jesse complain when he created the Beyonce one? Do you, no, do you no. I was, I was really uh, thrilled with how... Uh, the, the substantial curves that he gave me because I'm a very narrow man and so that was a, that was a nice change of pace hopefully he feels better look yeah, forward to I the show so tonight too. and Thanks. congrats on the album release hey, thank you very much good to see you you too it is uh, Ben from Jukebox That Goes off to the races the latest album you're watching B-Sides on air <laughs>